Hey, what's up? Coach Ryan Fanley here from the Fat Loss Solution. Today I've got another edition for you of Ask Coach Ryan. I've got an awesome question today and I'm going to open a little can of worms and I'm going to give you my opinion on this um, as well as a little bit of information from clinical research. So this is a huge topic in, on the internet today. If you, if you go out and Google you know, intermittent fasting or meal frequency and metabolism, It'll probably take you to the deep, dark recesses of some of the crappiest forums in the world where people are arguing over this. Uh, intermittent fasting is better. No, eating six times per day is, fa is, is better. Uh, and truth be told, it's, it's not that simple. So I'm going to give you my take on it. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of background on it. And um, then maybe in a, a later episode, I'll go over some recommendations. So the, the question that I got was, Coach Ryan, does increased meal frequency raise metabolism? In other words, will eating six times per day boost my metabolism over eating three times per day um, if calories stay the same? So that's a key part there because a lot of people, when they do this, they mess up their calories. So if calories are the same, is it better to eat six times a day or say two times per day? So a little background on this, for a long time, like the bodybuilders of the world, the people that were stepping on stage in their posing trunks or bikinis, uh, have been stating that more meals actually boost your metabolism. So they've been getting their regular clients, the, the office workers, whoever it may be, to try to eat six, seven, eight meals a day. Heck, some of the top, uh, the top IFBB pro bodybuilders will even eat 11 solid meals per day. I know that sounds crazy, but they will eat every hour. Um, and a lot of them claim that it will actually boost your metabolism. So that was kind of where the meal frequency thing started. And everyone felt that way for the longest time, that, that frequency boosted your metabolism. Then, um, fairly recently, the intermittent fasting trend came along. And all those people were saying, no, 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 wait. It's not the frequency that matters, it's just the calories. So if you eat 3,000 calories a day, it doesn't matter whether you have it in eight meals per day or whether you have it in one to two meals per day. It will give the same effect on your body from a fat burning uh, and metabolic standpoint. Um, so I spent you know, some time today. I, I enjoy reading scientific research. I'm not a, I'm not a PhD, I'm not a doctor, uh, and I don't perform clinical research anymore, but I still enjoy reading it. Uh, so I just spent the last few hours in the research and I was looking up human research in medical journals, you know, American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, European Journal of uh, Physiology, a bunch of different journals. Um, and what's interesting, I, I was researching the subject and there's human research that proves or gives evidence to both sides of the argument. And I think it's kind of funny because a lot of the pro fasting guys, the ones that are really adamant about it are saying there's zero research to show that, um, to show that multiple meals is better for your metabolism than, than just one or two meals. And I'm like, zero research? The first three papers I found showed that uh, more meals actually increase the metabolism. And again, I've seen some papers that showed that it didn't matter. So there's a little bit of a discrepancy in the research and there's, there's papers on both sides of the equation. And so all scientific research on some extent is a little bit flawed. So by nature of experimental design, every experiment has some kind of flaw that makes it makes you unable to universally apply it to all populations and that's just the nature of the research um, but so i just want to caution everyone on getting too standing behind one side or the other because the fact is there is research on humans both obese and active individuals that are on both sides of the equation so it's hard to say for sure um, i recently tried a personal study so i'll, I'll give you guys uh, all my life I've been a multiple meals is the best guy. You know, I preached it without really understanding all the mechanisms behind it, largely because I like to follow the bodybuilders of the early days. Um, so I've always been a multiple meal frequency guy, eating as many times per day uh, as I can, usually around five to six uh, solid meals. So I tried a personal study. Again, this is non-scientific. This was not done in a lab or with any data. Uh, but basically I just tried an intermittent fasting protocol. Um, with 16 hours of fasting, eight hours of eating, or a 16 and eight protocol. And basically, I kept my calories the same level for both phases of the experiment, so the fasting phase as well as the feeding phase. Um, 
So I did it just for one week of intermittent fasting and then um, one week of six meals per day, five solid meals and one shake. And uh, I got skin fold calipers, a 12 site skin fold caliper test in both cases to see body fat percentage, skin fold thickness and lean body mass. So the first week uh, with my intermittent fasting, I lost six pounds. Now, a lot of people would say, wow, that's pretty awesome. I was eating over 3,000 calories a day, awesome. Oddly enough, my skin fold caliper test showed zero decrease in any of my skin folds. Uh, in other words, I lost basically six pounds of lean tissue. Um, so with a six pound of lean tissue loss and no change in the calipers, I actually made myself fatter or a higher body fat percentage from intermittent fasting. Uh, so I, I got measured several times because I couldn't believe it and then I even tried some other methods even like bioelectrical impedance which is not that accurate but um, it reflected the same thing. So for me I was like wow okay so intermittent fasting for me makes me lose muscle. Fast forward to the next week. Uh, bump my meals up to six per day, five solids with a shake. Calories identically the same as during my fasting period. Um, and oddly enough, after that week, um, my body fat percentage had dropped 2% below what my original was. So actually it had dropped 3% in one week. Uh, and all my muscle mass, um, I gained all my muscle mass back, six pounds. And so, it, you know, for me, at least in that short study of two weeks, um, I can safely ascertain for myself that multiple meals per day or a higher meal frequency works best for me. Now, I'm going to tell you both sides of the equation here. I got a good buddy, uh, my friend and uh, business partner Adam Steer. He is the bodyweight coach. You can check him out at bodyweightcoach.com. Uh, he uses intermittent fasting and he went a period where I hadn't seen him for a while. Uh, and then he tried the fasting and then I saw him uh, at the end of January down in, in Miami, Florida. And he looked drastically different than the time I'd seen him before. He had more muscle mass, he was leaner, just looked better. Uh, you know, part of it, shameless plug, I think is because he was using my fat loss solution workout system. No, I, just kidding, he was using it, but I don't think that's the reason. I truly believe that the reason for his results was, you know, he found a good meal plan that works in terms of fasting. So fasting worked great for him. Um, and, and he told me, he said he can't ever see himself switching back to multiple meals per day. It fits his lifestyle, it works better. And so when you look at this, it's really quite simple. People like to argue about you know, what's best, but it comes down there, there's a thing called a bell curve with standard deviation, meaning that for the middle 68% of people, a given thing is going to work. And you have people on the high end and people on the low end that it's not gonna work for. And so I just think that, uh, you know, different strokes for different folks, right? I mean, it's been seen in the scientific literature. I've seen it uh, in my own personal life and, and coaching. I know a lot of people that love fasting, get great, result from fa great results from fasting. I know a lot of people that hate it and say it's the worst thing ever and their bodies change for the worst when they do it. Um, so, you know, I used to really defend my theories very vehemently and dogmatically about you must have eight meals per day, blah, blah, blah. You know, but the more I travel, the more I teach, the more I coach other people, uh, you know, I just learned that different things work for different people. And so I know I didn't really answer your question of does increased meal frequency raise metabolism because I've seen it kind of work both ways and I don't think there's a set answer, but I hope that gives you some clarity. Um, and I've kind of rambled on for, for too long now, but in my next video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a six week plan to kind of figure out if you know, to kind of figure out what your best meal frequency is. Okay, so stay tuned for that one. If you like this video, scroll below, click subscribe. I'll see you next time, I'm Coach Ryan.